flexing their might like this. I do love that shit. Um, have you watched Physical 100 on Netflix? Seems like the perfect show made for you. Yes, but I have some issues with the show. They need more piffy editing. Okay, here, you want to know what my takes are on Physical 100? Wonderful show. First of all, love the idea of being able to fucking put like steroid junkies against like uh, people who do not do steroids. It's what made baseball actually watchable for the duration where it was you know what i mean so i'm a fan of that already like i i just like that that's something that people i feel like don't really talk about when they're discussing the show is that like you literally have dudes who are on so much gear competing against like national athletes competing against like people who just you know do fitness as like a side hobby okay but there are parts of the show that are really, really fun and cool. It started off super strong. And then sometimes it's incredibly repetitive, especially if like one of the competitions is like kind of boring and doesn't translate well to being filmed. Um, that, that uh, you know, it, it, because it's like 45 minutes of being stuck on that fucking singular competition, it really makes it awful. It really makes it, like, almost unwatchable, as a matter of fact. <coughs> yeah. There's an Olympic gold medalist versus fucking influencers. Yeah, that's awesome. It's, it's fire. Um, I love that. Um, but the, the other part of it that I don't like is that they constantly repeat. They constantly repeat with the audio, like a moment where like someone falls or whatever. And I'm just like, dude, stop. Like, that's just horrible editing. Yeah. I'll, the editing is typical to Korean variety shows. Get used to it. Yeah. I don't like that. I, I really, really don't like that. Um, it's a cultural thing in Korea and Japan. Yeah. It's just not, I, I don't like that. I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, the, would you watch, would you do a Twitch version of that? No, I'd get my fucking, actually, that, that could be kind of fun. Um, Crowded is getting flame like crazy over recording his phone combo with boring. Wait, what? That's old shit. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess it's like Korean editing, but I don't like it. Personally, it's not for me. Um, uh, what else? What else? Oh, but like, yeah, for example... The the snow bag uh, the the sandbag competition the bridge building then the sandbag competition in like episode four and five went on for way too long and if it's a and I realize like if it's a if it's a competition that you don't really that doesn't hit or that doesn't lend itself well to like being viewed okay then you're basically stuck for. Two fifty minute, uh, two fifty minute increments of like watching the same competition, and you're just like, "Come on, dude, come on, speed through this, fast forward through this." Like the first competition was really good because it broke it into two different parts, so it was like agility and speed versus raw power and like fighting, right? When when you on the one hand you had like the 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 mud wrestling, and then on the other hand you had like the the course basically, so like you could actually try and get someone who's like tiny but very agile against someone who's like big and and very strong but slow and and that was that was really good especially because like there was variety there so it didn't get like super boring but the second challenge was kind of boring because it was the same challenge over and over again and um I think like it's it's a really good show with a really fun premise and it can be it can get significantly better. Um but yeah, now like the latest the 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 redemption arc 
That was like, eh, all right. Here's the sandbag challenge preview. Yeah, here. I'll show you. Like, this this challenge was boring. And it was like two whole fucking episodes. I love her. She is my queen, by the way. Oh, incredible. She's so fucking cool. Yeah, they crossed the bridges and filled the tube with sand. My favorite, my favorite was the other wrestling guy, uh, who's the leader of this team. I love both of them. They're both national uh, team wrestlers for Korea. I love her, and I love him. Like, immediately. And you guys can guess why I love him, obviously. Because he's so fucking, he's so big and so powerful. And yet, like, as a big boy, he placed sixth. He placed sixth place on the hanging competition, which is, like, really, really difficult to do. It was 40 minutes to introduce the 100. I know the show was going to be painfully slow. So that definitely... Wait, what? The way women are looked down upon... The way women on the show are looked down upon by the men in every single challenge is seen as weaker, as if Zhang Yun still isn't stronger than half these men. I need them to be serious. Okay. I mean... You got to remember, like, the people that she's going up against are literally fucking stronger than she is they these are like some of the strongest men in korea going up against some of the strongest women in korea okay like yes she could probably beat the ass of a lot of women but like there is an episode there is a wrestling competition between like a, a, a syrium uh, or whatever you call it like the the sand wrestling the the sand wrestling lady literally tries to go up against a fucking rugby player and the dude folds her like a fucking napkin. Hassan, stop. I mean, it's just so, it's a, that's a stupid fucking thing. Like, yeah, if you go up against a fucking freak athlete, even if they're not a wrestler, they're going to use their raw power over you. That's so stupid. That's not misogyny. And you, you saw it. Like, it happened. At first, I thought, if, you're, if you are a professional wrestler, okay, if you're a professional wrestler uh, woman and you're going up against like a dude who isn't a freak fucking athlete with like a hundred pounds on you, yeah, you can beat their ass for sure. That's why they have weight classes. This has nothing to do with like men versus women even. And yeah, the dude who is a professional rugby player who was one of the tallest motherfuckers there and had a hundred pounds on the professional Syrian wrestler, yeah folded her like a fucking picnic table okay you know why you know why because he's much larger than her and much stronger than her it was it was like it was silly you know she's still stronger than 80 percent of the men yeah she is she has technique and she's stronger Yes, she's, she has technique, and she's probably stronger. He didn't fold her. It was competitive. He literally picked her up with one arm at a certain point, and not her. I'm not talking about her. She's the national uh, Korean wrestler. I'm talking about the Syrian wrestler that went against fucking, that went up against the rugby player, and you're wrong. He literally picked her up like this. He picked her up 
like this while she was trying to do techniques on him. Like it was a handbag. You're crazy. <laughs> there was an MMA guy who beat the female wrestler too. Yeah, I think there was another one too. Uh, yeah, against Layman, she could probably beat most fucking random dudes' asses, but, like, she's not going up against random fucking dudes. She's going up against also, like, you know, top-level fucking athletes that are also larger than they are. No, 100%, I agree. No point to compare the physical power of men and women. Ladies just accept the difference and use their other powers. Like, <laughs> it's so dumb. Like, I, I don't, I don't understand why people fucking, I don't understand why people do that. Wasn't there, uh, the MMA guy destroyed the female, oh yeah, 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 the MMA guy and the female bodybuilder. There was a, there was another fight. There was a female bodybuilder who was objectively roided out the fucking wazoo and literally was was more muscular than the MMA fighter that she was fighting. I actually don't know what their weight differences were. And the MMA guy literally still destroyed the female bodybuilder because <coughs> for a multitude of different reasons, one of which being one of which being that, oh yeah, this is what I was talking about. Uh, but not the MMA fighter versus the female bodybuilder. But like one of it is that the female bodybuilder also is like doesn't know any techniques. You know what I mean? But here. Yeah. He fucking he he's able to utilize this to push him into the water, which is why a lot of people were like, oh wow, they're like fucking competitive. No, they weren't. But yeah, that guy who said I'd have gotten even uh, thrown even further, that is a fucking gold medalist Olympic athlete. And I'll be honest with you, if she went up against him, she probably could have beat his ass. Okay? She probably could have. It would have been a hard fight, but ultimately you can't overcome size differences of that, of that uh, massive... Uh, of that much of a fucking size difference, like you're not gonna be able to overcome that. You can't outfight that, no matter how good you are. Especially when the other person is like coordinated, you know? Of that magnitude, size difference of that magnitude, yes. Will it show when he just like picks her up? Oh, I think this is it. This is where he just like, he's like, all right, I'm gonna take this shit seriously now. I, is it is it this that yeah yeah she's trying to she's trying to drop him She's trying to drop him, and he's, like, holding her off like this. Not even close to his body. Yeah. It's not even close at that point. He lifts her at 4.05. Is that where, where he lifted her at 4.05? Like, there was one moment I remember when he just, like, picks her up, and I was like, oh, that's, that's a crazy fucking size difference. Yeah, right here. This, this, this. You can't do anything to that. 
There's no technique there. She's insane. She's an insanely good fighter. You made it sound like there was a much bigger difference, though. Wait, what do you mean? There is a much bigger size difference. Brother, he's significantly taller than her and significantly larger than her. I don't know if you guys know this, but, like, women don't have the same amount of muscle mass on their bodies as men do, okay? The, the difference between testosterone and estrogen uh, and, and the different levels of testosterone and estrogen coursing through your fucking veins is a dramatic difference in muscle development. What the fuck? You think this is a e like? Like that's come on, look at that. There is no woman on the planet in her fucking in her uh, uh, fighting, uh, in her career that could do that to her because the there is no woman that has that in that specific uh, in that specific fighting ring has that size difference. If there was, maybe. They look the same size. You guys are fucking insane, dude. Come on. Like, this is the this is the dumbest thing because, like, yeah, dude, there's a there's literally weight classes for that reason. I, I don't think you understand. A dude who looks like that. I don't know exactly what their weight... I, I don't know what exactly his weight is or her weight is. But, like, I know for a fact that he's taller than most of the other dudes there. To put it like this, do you think she could do the same thing to him? No, of course not. I've been a viewer for a year and I can't believe how sexist you're being. No, that's sexist. Stop, you're being sexist. What? Okay, guys. First of all, none of this... None of this is uh, uh, about, like, first of all, trans athletes or anything like that. We're not talking about fucking HRT or some shit. So remember that. But, like, there's a reason why there aren't any examples of, like, dudes being like, I'm a woman now, except for fucking right-wing psychos who do that kind of shit, where they're like, oh, yeah, what if, like, what if someone were to say, they're a woman now, and then they were able to, like, outlift all the women in that fucking arena, and it's like, yeah, people don't do that. That's why right-wingers have to, like, create the fucking meme themselves, okay? Stop saying I'm sexist. You're fucking stupid. She could have avoided that if she wasn't holding the ball. That's also true, too. Yes, fair. But I don't think she would be able to pick him up in that similar uh, in that in in a similar way, like she. I don't think she's capable of picking him up like that. She tried a couple times. It's just so, it's so funny. Okay, two people that are, two men, two men that are the same size, that have trained the exact same way for many, many years in the same field will still have different outcomes depending on how fights go. That's why sports is interesting and fun and unique. Do you understand? Even if it was two men that are the same size, you never really know the outcome. So even if it was a woman who's the same size as a man and the man wins one fight, that doesn't automatically mean like, oh yeah, women are always going to lose or whatever. That's literally the point of sports. People oftentimes unironically forget the point of sports is that like, you know, there are unique things that happen that you can't factor in. Grit, okay? Uh, uh, being one of the components, like confidence being one of the components, techniques and being able to apply them adequately, one of the, one of the components. So obviously, obviously in this circumstance, there are all of those factors, but regardless of all those factors, even if everything is right, everything goes right for her, he, there is a massive size difference. She 
very clearly holding her own against this guy that can lift her whole body on one shoulder? Yes. And that is actually incredibly impressive. That is incredibly impressive. But you have to understand that, like, that's impressive because of the size difference. And that's impressive because he's, like, clearly stronger than she is. That, that says nothing about, like, fucking men versus women or that doesn't make it sexist. It's a joke in gymnastics. Men can get away with doing standing back tucks with less technique, i.e. throwing your head back and gainering or not keeping arms up because they have upper body strength and women don't. In egalitarian indigenous societies, men and women and other genders played in sports together and the only barrier to entry and still it was and still is physical capability. You're not being misogynistic. Yeah. Of course, everything you're saying is correct. It's just that society values ultra masculinity slash physical strength. When women try to attain this, uh, the commentary is that they're always weaker than men. It just feels like women are undermined and the relative weakness makes us lesser people, apparently, you know? Well, the reason why we started this is because the way this woman, the way women on this show are looked down upon by the men in every single challenge is seen as weaker. As if Zhang Yun still uh, isn't stronger than half these men. I need them to be serious. That's where the conversation started. Like recognizing, um, recognizing these kinds of uh, physical differences does not mean, uh, you know, that you're a sexist person. It's just so stupid. Like, he at least has 50 pounds on her. Try 100, dude. He has, like, 100 pounds on her. And the other thing is, like, even if he wasn't, even if he had 100 pounds on her, that's still legitimately uh, a a size difference that's hard to fucking, that's still legitimately a size difference that's hard to account for. But, sorry, Jank is, like, texting me. Um, you're arguing with nerds who have not watched the show and will not watch the show is Twitch Shatters. Yeah, that's true. It's still hard to account for the size differences, but even then, it's like uh, the dude is also, like, a professional athlete. You know what I mean? It's just crazy. It's crazy to me. The motherfuckers are saying this. Um, also, new new drama breaking. No, Tam, due to an active air defense operation issued... In parts of Yukon, Canada, 